Hypixel Pit Iron Man is a series where I try to see how far I could progress into the Hypixel Pit playing by the Skyblock Iron Man rules of no trading. Upon logging into the Hypixel Pit, I realized the chests were Christmas chests. This meant it was Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas. Anyways, because I was level 104, my first priority would be getting level 120. But since it was still King's Map, and King's Map is the only map I can create hidden jewels on, I would be maining sewers. A blue bracket named Palbud attempted to kill me, but since he is not that good at the game, I easily killed him. Because a lot of the people in sewers were trying to kill me, I decided that on top of getting sewer rubbish from the chests, for the hidden jewels, I would also attempt to get a 50 kill streak. Because on death, I would gain 4000 XP. Eventually, I found my first chest, which contained one sewer rubbish. I was a long way to go, but it was worth not having to wait another four weeks for King's map to get in jewels. After not getting that many chests, I decided to check what the requirements were to create a mini cake. After I prestiged to prestige 2, I would unlock Barbarian, which gives me an axe instead of a sword, and allows me to harvest sugar from watermelons, which is a crucial ingredient from the cake and the only way I could get it. Because I need a cake to complete King's Quest, I need to gather all the ingredients to make a cake, and I cannot trade for them because that would go against the Iron Man. The first ingredient I needed was 40 package tables, which can be created with 40 stacks of wheat. Taking wheat to a crafting table turns into a package bale, and it is not lost on death so I can keep them in my inventory. A silly little goofball named Twizzy Event Alt told me I was permed in chat, then immediately folded. Now that I had asserted my dominance, I could go back to farming wheat. An unfortunate string of events occurred and I almost died to Twizzy Event Alt due to the three nons both spamming me and my complete inability to heal. Luckily, due to the incredible skill difference, I managed to outheal him and eventually get a kill even though he said stop and truce in chat. Even though I just really want to farm wheat, I had to fight many more people. Eventually, I got back to farming wheat though. Farming wheat was going great, and I got a bit too cocky and decided to type in chat for 3 seconds when Twizzy Event Alt decided to crit me out. Truly a terrible day for Twitter users everywhere. I ran to the crafting table and created another 6 bales of wheat. I forgot to show myself creating the first 12 bales of wheat, but trust me, I did not cheat to get them. After beating up that one guy for the fun of it and also the wheat he would drop, I made even more hay bales. We were pretty much halfway there. After repeatedly being violated while attempting to farm wheat, I eventually employed enough evasive maneuvers to craft more hay bales. This one guy with a lot of absorption hearts tried killing me, but I somehow won the fight. I'm not sure if you would call this a win, but I would consider this a win. Big day for gay people. With only one hay bale remaining, I quickly farmed the remaining wheat and crafted the last hay bale. Before gathering more ingredients, I would participate in Aspire, because after Prestige 1, you go Renown for events, and Renown is pretty good to have. Unfortunately, I only got 4th place, meaning I would get 2 Renown instead of 3. This spire brought me up level 106, and I went back to grinding ingredients. The next ingredient to get would be eggs. Unfortunately for eggs, I need to feed bread to chickens, and to get bread, I need to cook even more wheat. Luckily, it only takes 6 sacks of wheat to get all the eggs, so this segment of the video will not be too long. After putting my success of wheat in the furnaces and winning 10 seconds, I got all 6 pieces of bread and had to head over to the shooting range, which is where I would get the chickens. After killing one person and making my way over to the shooting range, I stood on the red line and shot the targets. Shooting a target grants one third a piece of gold and spawns a chicken from the sky. Each chicken can be fed one bread to grant one egg. After a near-death experience, I collected all six of my eggs, and since eggs are lost in death, I went to my ender chest to store the eggs and the hay bales. Since I already had the milk and the cherries from last episode, all I would need now would be the sugar, which, although I could not get, I could get immediately after I prestige. Re-entering the sewers, I immediately found a chest which had some XP, gold, and sewer rubbish. I killed a person, then I myself was killed. After this happened, after this happened, I swapped lobbies and was triple teamed in the sewers. Despite what many of you may believe, I am in fact good with the sauce, so I returned to sewers and killed all three. The first one, donning a pure griffin skin, was dealt with very quickly. The second one put up a bit more of a fight, but since they were only an iron, they also died very quickly. And the third one, and since it was now a 1v1, the last fight was simple. Unfortunately, when they came back and I attempted to kill the pepe skin for heals, I was 
Very unsuccessful and lost a lot of health very quickly. I continued the never ending sewer grind and killed a few more people, slowly getting closer to the 64 sewer rubbish which I needed. Eventually, a robbery happened and I got in the top 10 by joining last minute and killing like one person. It might have been just half a person, to be honest. The best way to play robbery is just chip away at someone who has a lot of gold and pull. You have enough yourself to get the extra one around you need. Going for top 3 is really hard unless you're in a small lobby. I don't know how I managed to stay alive during this clip, but I guess I did. A care package happened near where I was, and I became 2 for 2 at sniping fresh mystic swords out of care packages, bringing my net worth up to 2 fresh swords. A man with hacking in his name attempted to call me, and although it did kind of seem like he was reaching a bit, he could not outreach me, which was strange, so I assumed that he was reaching and just had really bad aim. I found a few more sewer chests and gave and gave in on two buckets of milk because although I could have sold them for 8,000 gold, I am not allowed to trade. Since I was beginning to pick up a kill streak, I decided to emerge from sewers and get a few kills, and after about 20 minutes, I hit 50 kills. After hitting overdrive, I immediately dropped all of my armor in a corner and jumped into mid to be claimed because I was not getting kills that fast outskirts, so getting the 4000 death XP would be the most efficient way I could level up. This brought me to level 114, and when I dropped back down, my armor was still in the corner I left. I dropped down to attempt to do a streak mid, but a nick player whose real identity is P Mano decided to nick on me. I'm not sure why, I think he's just a fan. After he pissed off that I managed to get a 48 streak, which was rudely interrupted by a spire, which I participated in, and it was the most average spire ever. I got top 20, so plus 2 renown, then plus 1 level, but after that I could hit my overdrive. I managed to hit overdrive without anything going wrong, which brought me up to level 119, meaning I was only 1 level away from being able to prestige. Because I wanted to get one more fresh sewer pan before I prestiged, I went back to sewers and got into a heated fight with a fellow blue bracket, which I won. For some reason, this absolute freak of a human being named Extracted Love started hunting me, even though I was just chilling in sewers and chain. He was, he had D -hum on. He, he was really just going for the kill. I'm not sure if he, like, like he watches the YouTube channel or just really hates me, but he, he was really going for it. Somehow he was losing to me, even though I was in chain and iron, and he even swapped lobbies to find me in sewers, but, but still lost. I, I don't really know what's going on with that guy. Yeah, I, I really could not tell you what it was with this specific recording, but everyone wanted the smoke. And if that's what you really want, then it is what you will receive. After that guy kind of disappeared, I went back to grinding sewers and sealed a non away forever because I was mad that he stole my chest. Truly a fate worse than death. Through chest XP alone, I eventually hit level 120 and was getting much closer to the 64 sewer rubbish. Although it was taking a long time, eventually it would be worth it when I realized I have to wait another 4 weeks to get any sewer rubbish. And after a unholy amount of sewer grinding, I finally had all 64. I ran across sewers to the sewer fish and created yet another fresh sewer pant. Since I was level 120 and no longer had any sewer grind to do, I dropped myself some diamond armor, then prestiged, immediately picking back up the armor so I could start the prestige with at least some defense. Because I still needed sugar to do King's Quest, I unlocked Barbarian, which would allow me to harvest sugar, although I would need to get level 30 to be able to use it. I also unlocked Mysticism, which would allow me to enchant items to tier 2, enchant my fresh sewer pants once I had enough gold, and allow me to get fresh drops, one in every like a thousand kills. Because I was such a low level, and didn't really have the ability to kill people, I just went back to sewers because 100 XP got me 6 levels, and I did need the 3000 gold to get Barbarian. After opening a surprisingly low map chest, I was already level 30, although I was 500 gold off of the 3000 gold which I needed to use Barbarian. Luckily though, there was a Spire which, which gave me a few more levels and enough gold to afford Barbarian. Barbarian is a perk which grants you an axe which does plus 1 damage to its sword counterpart. For example, if a iron sword does 6 damage, an iron axe does 7 damage in the pit. It also has the ability to farm sugar. After gathering the 12 needed sugar, I went back to my HS to get all the ingredients which I need to make a cake, at which time I could go to the baker and create my cake. And now that I had finally baked my cake, I could complete King's Quest. King's Quest granted me 35 levels, 24,000 gold, and a crown to wear. 
I sat up the throne for a minute, then remembered that since I had extra gold, I could buy all the necessary perks I needed. Since I was level 80 right, I could buy all three perks as King's West had boosted me to the level needed. Since I had also unlocked mysticism with my prestige, I was ready to enchant my first sewer pants. Since I had two pairs, I had two chances to get hand rolls, and on the first one, I got them. The second one, however, I was not so lucky. One for two is still really good though. I went to farm to do my first streak of the prestige, and a red bracket named Uwu repeatedly tried killing me. Luckily, since I had a axe and sword, I could axe swap, which allows me to hit faster than I normally would be able to. After fighting for a while, people stopped coming back, and at around 30 kills, I chased someone into sewers. And even though no one really wanted to fight me anymore, after 7 whole minutes, I got the 3 remaining kills to hit overdrive. Calmly walking into the lower portion of it, the boat like Patrick Bateman, I knew I had to do. After having a conversation with the person who was interviewing Oo, a white bracket killed both of us. This brought me up to level A7, and with that death, I realized I could tier 2 my two first swords, and so I did. Somehow, they both got XP boost, one of the most useless enchants, but that is okay. Anyways, it is 6.45am, so I'm going to upload this video, then go to sleep. Subscribe if you enjoyed.